to me, the, uh, the trade was more of a Brett Brown, the general manager, than Brett Brown helping the coach right away. Is that one way to look at the trade, if you will? Completely, because I live in this city with you all. I watch Villanova. I love his mom. I love his college coach. There is a human side of this that's really kind of hard to explain. And we all, I am assuming, go from this level of excitement and coincidence, like you can't make this up, to something as a, as a, as a group. We, we sit there and we field office, and again, one we, we knocked back that was a great opportunity, really a great opportunity. And then there it is. There's, there's this thing that involves our 1B. It wasn't like it involved another player. It was our 1B, who we had targeted and brought back twice and studied the things that we felt he could improve on to, to really be quite different in the NBA because of his incredible character and athleticism and toughness. And then there's a 2021 pick and we all understand that that could be the year that high school people are allowed into the NBA. And that is, that is far out. And it also could be the thing, as I said to Marshall, that could be the thing that, that, that flips it with us having more assets to, to enhance a realistic trade for a star. We are star hunting or we are star developing. That's how you win a championship. And the emotion of what we have all been through is painful. But as I said at the start, what's best for the organization and how do you win a championship? And, and since I've looked at you all, I haven't pivoted out of that once.